Can I use the S bus or DSM2 port of the Xylo FC V2 for LRS? Thank you for a $2 super chat. Alvin Noboa. Alvin Noboa, the best way to do this would be to use the DSM2 port. Wait. Is the DSM2 port, that is that a TX or an RX? I have to be sure. I think I know, but I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if my microphone picked that up, Blunty. Uh, there's a sump pump over on the um, near me. And whenever it's raining, every so often you'll hear the sump pump go... Bzzz. And I think uh, people who are listening to my stream or my video must think like somebody's like flushing a toilet. Except it goes off every like 10 minutes when there's a lot of rain. It's just constantly going. And so like as I'm recording, it's just like... Bzzz. And I, I wonder if people are like, Jesus, who's, who's using the bathroom every 10 minutes? And then, of course, when I'm recording, I just... I just stop recording and redo the take, but I can't do that when I'm live streaming. Did it, did it pick it up? I don't know if you heard it. I'm not sure if I heard it or something else. I'm not, I'm not uh, sure. Okay. You might've heard it. Anyway, if you guys are hearing that, that's what that is. You'd be like, so what the hell? Somebody in his house is at you know, digestive distress. DSM two is TX one. Okay. So that's not going to work. Um, that sucks. Uh, so your workaround will either be to put the Express LRS receiver to, to, to configure it to output SBUS, in which case it'll go to the SBUS pad, or to configure it to output inverted crossfire and put it on the SBUS pad. Either one of those will work. Uh, and you can't, but you will not get telemetry is the difference. And if the DSM2 pad happens to be on the same UART, you could solder the other wire to the DSM2 pad because it's a TX. Oh, well, that's interesting. You're not wrong. Well, hang on. Uh, DSM2 is... Oh, my God, Blunty's right. Damn, dude. So DSM2 is TX1 and SBUS is RX1. So then uh, the Express LRS receiver is awake. It's in Wi-Fi mode. We're going back to the previous question. And... We're going to go to the web interface for the Express LRS receiver. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Are you connected? Come on, buddy. Why is this not working? Shut the F up. Connect to the F and Wi-Fi, you piece of... Is this... What the F? Where's my Wi-Fi adapter? Let me put it closer to the F and, oh my God, this is so frustrating when this happens. No internet secured. It says it's connected. Why can't I F and ping it? Such high quality live stream content. Oh, oh, we're live. We're live. There we go. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to go into the web UI and you're going to enable this option, invert TX pin. And this option will allow you to connect the TX wire to the S bus pad on your, uh, uh, on your F4 flight controller. Okay. You will then put the RX pad. Oh my God, Blunty. This is huge. People want, oh my God, people want to be able to connect a GPS, an express alert receiver, and a digital VTX on that build. And they can't do it because there's only two UARTs. This would give them a third full UART. Holy shit. I got to make this video. This is huge. That stupid flight controller only has two full UARTs. So you basically can't do it. But what you need to do, you have to, if you're going to connect to an SBUS pad, you have to do the invert TX pin here. If you do this normally, it will stop working. You'll break your, you'll, you'll have to put, your receiver will stop working. So don't do that. Okay. That's so exciting. 
Just do it in the Lua script in 3.3. Can you do it in the Lua script in 3.3, Captain Bry? Fine. Good for you. Good for you with your 3.3.